It is time for game five. Winner go home. Here we go. Winner goes on to take the Boston Red Sox on in the ALCS. We will see who will get it done. Folks, welcome to the Los Angeles Angels franchise vote here on MLB 21, the show. This is episode number 103. And no, the winner does not go to the NLCS like MLB the show does have. But the winner goes to the ALCS. It should be a fun one tonight between the Angels and the Yankees. After losing the first two games at home in Anaheim, the Angels have bounced back. They have won both of the games in New York. And now we are here. Let's see if the Angels can finally win their first game in this postseason at their home stadium here in Anaheim. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more MLB 21 The Show here on the channel. Heading to the mound tonight is the reigning, defending Cy Young and Jose Barrios. And for the New York Yankees, it will be Mitch Keller as we get game number five of the 2026 ALDS underway. Here's Jose Barrios. He's had a history of performing very poorly against the Yankees, specifically in this season. We will see how he does tonight as he will shut down Jason Dominguez right there with the slurve. Good start for Barrios. Now the 3-2 count, he's going to get a ground out. He's going to get Sepulveda to roll over to Jeremiah Jackson. Two down for Fran Moraes on the 2-2 count. Swing and a miss on the slurve. One, two, three inning for Barrios. Just the way you wanted to start this game out if you were Anaheim. In it comes Mitch Keller. The pitcher for the Yankees will see Brandon Marsh first. They will say Marsh went on the slider. Obviously, he did go. One gone for Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna on the ground. Right to short. There will be Willie Adamez. Two down, and here's your Angels lineup for tonight. Like always, Marsh, Acuna, Trout, Bell, Seager, Otani, Rushman, Mendoza, and Jackson. Mike Trout is going to strike out on the curveball. One, two, three innings for both Barrios and Keller as we go to the top of the second. Aristides Aquino up first for the Yankees. Did he go? Yes, he did. Strike out on the slurve. One gone for Willie Adamas. He's going to strike out on the slurve as well as we look at the postseason picture. Of course, the winner of the Yankees and Angels will take on the Red Sox, but in the NL, it is the Pirates and the Phillies. Gary Sanchez, though, striking out on the fastball. Barrios dealing early as we go to the bottom of the second. Josh Bell comes up on the 1-1 count, hits a change up into left field where that ball will be tracked down by Chris Sharp. One gone for Corey Seager, the former AL MVP on the 2-2 count gets the... Oh my goodness, I was going to say the first hit. Never mind. Absolutely robbed by DJ LeMahieu. Now Shohei Otani hits one up the middle, but straight into the shift. Both teams looking to find that first base runner. Still don't have it, though. On the top of the third, that'll be a pop-out of DJ LeMahieu. There's Jeremiah Jackson. One gone for Jeremy Vasquez in the 1-2. He hits one again to Jackson. There's the second baseman. Going to make that routine second out. Over to Josh Bell as Chris Sharp will see a 2-2 count. Swag and a miss on the change of strikeout number six for Barrios. As we go to the bottom of the third, Adley Rushman going to hit a slider on to the ground. Where Willie Adamas will field that one cleanly. One down in the inning for Drew Mendoza on the 1-2 count. The third baseman hits the slider into center field. Right to Jason Dominguez. Two down for Jeremiah Jackson. Still looking for that first hit on the 3-2 count. That's as good as a hit. It doesn't matter. Jeremiah Jackson with the walk. Brandon Marsh comes up on the 2-2 count. High fastball. Marsh puts it into center field where it will be caught by Jason Dominguez. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Both teams still without a hit. Carlos Sepulveda comes up with one out in the inning. Right to Corey Seager. There's a ground out. Two gone in the inning for Fran Mill Reyes. On the 3-2 count, swing and a miss on the slurve. And for the first time in the season, Barrios is dominating against the Yankees. Hopefully that can hold up, but we got to get the bats going. There it goes down Acuna on the ground out. To the plate now comes Mike Trout with one out. Trout gets around the slider. It's going to be hit on the ground to DJ LeMahieu. LeMahieu has got Trout at first. For the second out the inning. Josh Bell now comes up on the 3-2 count. Bell hits a curveball into center field. That ball will get down. Jason Dominguez does not dive out and make the play. So that's the first hit of this game. It goes to Josh Bell. Corey Seager now in the 2-2. Lines one into center field. Where it's going to be hit too hard. We go to the top of the fifth. Barrios still dealing. He's going to get Aquino to ground one back to the mound. For the first out of the top of the fifth. Willie Adamas now comes up on the 3-2. Yes, he did go on the slurve. Yet another strikeout for Barrios. Gary Sanchez now on the 2-1. Rocks one right to short into Corey Seager. The Yankees are hitless through five as the Angels got to get some damn runs. Otani flies one out into left field. Right to Chris Sharp. 
One down for Adley Rushman on the one-two count. Rushman gets a high fastball. He is too late. Two down in the inning. Mitch Keller pitching a very good game in his own right as Drew Mendoza picks up hit number two. Maybe not. You gotta be kidding me, Willie Adamas. Incredible play by the shortstop. We go to the sixth inning. There's another strikeout for Barrios. We're still at a 0-0 game. Vasquez on the one-two. He stares at strike three. Two down in the inning for Chris Sharp on the one-two. Barrios strikes out the side. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's a 0-0 game. There's hit number one of the postseason for Jackson. And it's hit number two of this game. The Angels have had three base runners. Jackson makes up for two of them as Marshall strike out. Acuna comes up on the 3-2 count. He draws the walk. Runners on first and second. And the Yankees have seen enough of Mitch Keller. Only two hits, two walks. He is out of here. Mike Trout comes up on the 3-1. He walks as well and they are loaded. One out for Josh Bell from the right side of the plate. Bell pops up the slider to the catcher in Gary Sanchez. The absolute worst possible scenario other than a double play right there is the pop out. And Seager on the 1-1 hits one hard to second base. But the Angels will leave them loaded as we go to the top of the seventh. The Yankees still without a damn base runner. There's going to be a fly out into center field to Ronald Acuna. One out in the inning for Carlos Selpulvda on the 1-2. He hits one in the right, but there is Brandon Marsh. Two down in the inning for Fran Mil Reyes. The DH on the 1-2 count. Barrio steals, and down goes Reyes. He strikes out again. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Still tied at zero. Down goes Otani with this strikeout. Rushman to the plate on the 2-1. He connects on a fastball. Low it away. It's pulled into left center. That ball's up. And it's out of here. Adley Rushman gives the Angels the lead. 401 feet in the left center. It's the third hit of this game. And it's the first run as well. The switch hitting all-star catcher and Rushman in his first season with the Angels delivers in game five. It's a one-run lead. Mendoza comes up in the 2-1. He absolutely kills a fastball as well, but it's going to be caught by Jason Dominguez. Two down for Jeremiah Jackson on the 3-1 count. Jackson rocks one into center. That man just has zero luck. Oh my goodness. We go to the top of the eighth. The Yankees still without a hit and without a base runner. Aquino strikes down the slurve. Adamas comes up with a one-two. Barely connects. It's going to be hit softly to Jeremiah Jackson. Two down in the eighth inning where in comes Gary Sanchez on the three-two. Sanchez hits it hard. Left field. There is Mike Trout. 24 up, 24 down for Barrios. He is three outs away from a perfect game, but he's only got a one-run cushion. There will be a tremendous play at second base to gun out Brandon Marsh. One down in the bottom of the eighth for Ronald Acuna Jr. Hard hit in the center. Acuna's on with a one-out single for Mike Trout. So Trout with the runner on trying to add on to this one-run lead and instead he takes a terrible swing. It's going to be caught in the infield. Two down for Josh Bell, the all-star on the 2-1 count. The best hitter in the game. Hits one in the left center. That one gets down as well. Acuna's rounding second. He's on to third. Bell stays at first. They are on the corners with two outs for Ranger Suarez. The Yankees set up the lefty-lefty matchup with Suarez and Seager. Let's see who will prevail. 1-2 count. Suarez deals. Terrible swing by Seager. Oh, my goodness. Well, Jose Barrios is three outs away from a perfect game. DJ LeMahieu up first. Oh, my goodness. No way. LeMahieu left field. Way gone. One swing of the bat ties it. LeMahieu looks back at the dugout. 427 in the left. It's their first hit, and it ties the game. He's their first base runner. Barrios was perfect through eight. He gives up a home run, and that will do it for him. Aaron Bummer now will come into this game. Barrios, like, one of the best performances you are ever going to see in the playoffs. And Bummer comes in and walks Jeremy Vasquez. So Chris Sharp comes up on the 1-1, setting down the sack bunt. Bummer going to second. Risky. He gets him. One out in the inning now for Jason Dominguez in the 2-2. Swing and a miss in the cutter. Bummer gets him. Two down for Carlos Sell. Pull of the 2-2 count. Ball is popped back up to the mound. There is Aaron Bummer, but we now have to go to the bottom of the ninth inning to try to walk off this game. Jason Farrell going to try to get this one to extras. Let's see what happens. Shohei Otani up first in the 3-2 count. Pulls one right field. Oh my goodness, straight into the shift. 
It's going to be played well by the second baseman. One gone in the bottom of the ninth for Adley Rushman. He is responsible for the only Angels run of this game. And that's going to be a fly out into left field to Chris Sharp. Two gone now in the bottom of the ninth inning. To the plate comes Drew Mendoza on the one-two count. Mendoza into left field. It's going to be caught. And we are heading to extra innings. Liam Hendricks will be the pitcher for the Angels in the top of the 10th inning, just simply trying to get this game to the bottom of the 10th. By the way, there is no extra inning runner rule, so no runners on right there, and there will be a strikeout of Framo Reyes. So one down for Arsenio Zacchino on the 3-2, he draws the walk. It is a one-out base runner now for Willie Adamas, and the full count Hendricks will deal swing and a miss on the slider. Two down for Gary Sanchez on the 2-2 count. Hits one to the left and gets through. Hit number two on the game for the Yankees is a big one. It puts runners on first and second with two outs for DJ LeMay, who he went yard last time. This time he strikes out as we go to the bottom of the 10th. Jeremiah Jackson up first. There is hit number two. Jackson with the leadoff single off the foot of Farrell. Puts a runner on first with no outs. Marshall on the 3-2. Draws the walk. Runners on first and second, no outs. Ron Acuna Jr. on the 1-2 count. Strike out on the curveball. One down for Mike Trout. On the 1-1 count, Trout puts one in the right. That ball gets down. Jackson will be held at third. They are loaded with one out for the best hitter in the game. It is Josh Bell. 1-2 count for Bell. Center field. That one's going to be caught. Jackson's going to tag up the throw by Jason Dominguez. Not in time! The Angels have done it! They have walked off the New York Yankees. They've come back from two down and they walk it off. Josh Bell, sack fly, does it for the Angels. They win this one by a score of two to one. Jose Barrios was three outs away from a perfect game when DJ LeMayhu hit a solo home run to tie it up. And then in the bottom of the 10th inning, the Angels pick up a leadoff single by Jeremiah Jackson, a walk by Brandon Marsh, a hit by Mike Trout, and a sacrifice fly by Josh Bell, which gave the Angels the 2-1 to victory. Oh my goodness, we are taking on the Boston Red Sox now in the ALCS. What a series we have in store for you folks. But real quick, just shout out Jose Barrios. Look at this. Truly. One of the greatest performances of all time. Eight innings pitched, one hit, one run, 14 strikeouts for Barrios. It was not enough for the win. He gets the no decision, but I think all that really matters is that we are heading on to the ALCS, where we are going to be again taking it on the Boston Red Sox. So, folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 103 of the Los Angeles Angels franchise mode here on LB21, the show. What a series between the Yankees and Angels, and now the Angels look to take down yet another powerhouse out of the AL East. Folks, thank you for watching, and Mamba forever.